Okay class, we've covered so much in our STEAM learning series, so today we are going to continue and learn how bridges are made and what makes them so strong. Bridges are made to go across something like water, a valley or even roads and houses, so they have to be really strong, right? So we have engineers that design bridges. They have to think about what the bridge is made of, how wide and how long the bridge is, and what it looks like so it withstands the weight of the bridge itself and what goes across it. Most bridges are made of steel and iron, but the design is just as important. Take a beam bridge. A beam bridge is a really simple design. Imagine putting a log across a stream, then walking across it. So beam bridges are okay for people and bikes, but not okay for cars and trucks because cars and trucks are really heavy. So how do we make stronger bridges? Take a look at this bridge. What shapes do you see? Triangles, right? Triangles are really strong shapes for bridges. If you put force on the side of the triangle, it's likely to bend. But if you put force on the point of the triangle, it's really hard to bend out of shape. The triangles you see along the bridges are called truss. It helps to spread out the weight. But not all bridges are made of trusses. If a bridge has to be really long, it might need a different design. This type of bridge is called a suspension bridge. Suspension bridges use a force called tension. Tension is just pulling something tight. These bridges are made with a deck, main cables, vertical suspenders and the towers. The deck hangs on the vertical suspenders. The vertical suspenders are connected to the main cables. The main cables are anchored and connected to the main towers. All the cables carry tension, so when cars and trucks travel across the bridge, the weight is spread out. Bridges are very strong, and thanks to our clever civil engineers, we can safely travel across bridges to get to where we need to go.